Hello learners, NIOS welcomes you to painting subject video series. This is lesson 8, Company School of Painting, part 1. We will discuss the process of the lesson. First, we will understand the background about the East India Company. Then, we will understand the background about the company school. Third, we will have new words from the lesson. Fourth is the description of the paintings mentioned in this chapter. Fifth is the summary. And then, finally, we would have the questions and answers. Merchants from UK, Britain, somewhere in the 16th century, started coming to India for trade and business. This was the beginning of the East India Company. It traded spice, cotton, silk, indigo, salt, tea and opium. These things were not available in other nations but were profusely available in India. Abundance of these materials in India and the lack of these materials in UK and other places was the basic foundation of trading. The East India Company also participated in slave trade. With time, the East India Company started involving themselves from trade to politics and partnerships with the Indian rulers. This was the beginning of the East India Company's takeover. Now we understand the meaning of the company school. With the arrival of British merchants and British patrons, they were really fascinated and attracted to the magnificent monuments, the beautiful flora and fauna, and the diversity of the Indian people, which led to the establishment of the East India Company. Gradually, they expanded their rule in South Asia. somewhere in the 18th till the 19th century. The British patrons were really fascinated and attracted with the diversity, the culture, the heritage, the flora, the fauna, the monuments. because the similar extravagance in UK was not available and they slowly started commissioning Indian artists to make paintings for them. These paintings were often sent as souvenirs back home. The commissioned artists were paid by the British patrons And the fact was that Indian artists were able to depict the Indian subjects more accurately. The scenes of daily life, the flora and fauna of India was more minutely depicted by Indian artists.
the British patrons started commissioning these artists and Indian artists welcomed the opportunity. This was new opportunities, new work for them. Also, we saw that the two styles were blended. The Western style blended with the Mughal and the Rajput styles. The British patrons were more interested in documenting the culture of India. For example, the festivals, the monuments, daily life of Indian people. And again, these were mementos for people back home in the UK. And the aim was more documentary than imaginative. The medium during that time was more watercolour, painted on paper and sometimes on ivory. The company paintings were first made in Madras, the southern city is now known as Chennai. And after that, these paintings spread to the other parts of India. Company paintings have been found in various parts of India. Let us focus on the new words. Patronize is to give financial support or other kind of support which normally came from royal and noble people. Miniature is an accurate version of a real life object depicted in a very small format. Accurate is exact. For example, we see portraits are very accurate. The next word is album, something we use to put pictures, market, grains, customer. For example, the person who goes to a vegetable shop and wants to buy vegetables, the person who pays is called the customer. Sari Conveyance In older times, there were carts drawn by horses, rickshaws, various kind of items used for transport. Occupation is a job, various occupations like engineers, etc. Purview is the scope or the focus, for example, the purview or the kind of focus we have on painting here in these chapters. Carve. The two meanings of carve, the first is to carve something as in uh, use pointed objects and then depict something in the 3D. And the second is to establish or create, to carve an own niche if you establish something. Oblivion or extinction. So, the photo here, we see a woolly mammoth 
which are extinct, they are no more, that is the meaning of oblivion or extinction. Souvenir, memento, recession is a temporary economic decline. Genre is a style or category. For example, in art also we have various kind of genres or styles. Vastness is something which is immense, it is very big. Subtle is something which is delicately complex and understated. As you see in this picture, there are lot of patterns here which are very delicate and subtle. Delineate is to describe or portray. When we make still life kind of painting, we use a pencil. First we delineate the entire, uh, the items which are placed in front of us and not paint it. So that is what delineate means. Meticulous. is to be very careful and precise when you are depicting something, features or aspects. Similar we can see when men shave their beard, we put in a lot of precision and we are very careful, we are very meticulous when we do that work. Palanquin, this is a carriage which is used by humans. Persistent is to continue firmly or obstinately, to keep at it, not to give up. Ivory is the hard white material from the tusk of the elephant. I hope you enjoyed watching part 1 of the lesson and will watch all the following videos. If you have any queries, please email us. For more information, you may visit our website www.nios.ac.in. Thank you.